the one who bought all the streets round, they will pack left and right, double double packing. I told them, I said, if it didn't happen like this, the police said we are making noise. But when it happened like this, we'll get respect. And I saw it be. You want to talk about I go hide mouth to talk I pray for you. I'm seeing the same overflow in this house. If you rise or say amen, your name will be inside. There is an angel called money. The Christ says, say, that mo- he said money and salad. Okay. If you open your hand, say amen, you will touch more. See that. We just dedicated the church 21st of January this year. And complain, don't start. The hall never full up. The hall. Because out of the overflow, engineer happened to be a member. We have to change the whole plan. We have to build four ways gallery. Altar have to be like somewhere center, choir there at the back. So altar will push altar at the center. 8,000 seaters will open and down. Because the other side, people will be at the main road. In fact, if I start the ministry, I will go. Some sit down for dustbin, some sit down for people's kitchen. Thank God I have good neighbors that time. Engineer said, we, let's solve this problem once and for all. We two by 200 by 300, we have to build the whole church, cover it. But now, now, no parking space. Then they call me last week. Then I should consider, I say, it's not a problem for me at all. It's a good problem. There are problems that is a good problem. You know, when people, they envy you, say, God, they bless you. It's a good problem. They say, you too, buy car. It's a good problem. People will be sitting there counting your shots, counting your goose, counting motorway, carrying your goose. Come. It's a good problem. May God give you those such problem. You didn't say amen, oh. <laughs> you hear what I said? They're going to count how many countries you have gone in one month. It's a good problem. They go sit down, they gossip your blessing. And if you say amen, God will do it for you in this house. I'm seeing a turn around. I see those things God promised you. He, he had done it before. He's still doing more, more and more. I'm seeing a sister here. They are mocking because of series of disappointment. But see the best one ahead of you. Let's complete that scripture, then I pray. Verse 19 now, Roman 4. We'll stop at 21. Media, please help us fast. Be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body, now dead, when he was about 100 years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered, I love that. He staggered not at the promise of God through what? But was what? Strong. He was what? Strong. Ha, giving God. Giving glory to God. Now, verse 21, everybody read. Rise up, put amen three times. You believe he's able to perform it? Give him thanks. Open your mouth, appreciate him. Heavenly Lord, you are wonderful. You are excellent. You are marvelous. I worship, worship you, Lord, Lord, for you are mighty. You got a whole world in your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you are going to pray this way. Any power fighting against what God promised me. Any altar fighting against God's promises in my life. Let that altar die. Let that altar go down. Clap your hands and pray. Any altar 
fighting against what God has promised. 